Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Vismal back again with another video, okay? In this one, I'm gonna be going over once again how to overclock your controller here in Black Ops Cold War or any game. Uh, this will overclock your controller in general for any game. Um, it's pretty simple, so hopefully you guys will enjoy. Hopefully it works out for you guys. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and address right here and in the setup tutorial, that if you get a error message, a five five seven or five seven seven, some kind of long error message, if you get that, uh, you're gonna have to go into your BIOS settings within your computer and disable secure boot. Okay, it's pretty annoying. I didn't have to do it, but I know a few people who did. So if you don't know how to disable secure boot, I recommend you just Google your computer, your PC, what kind it is, and how to disable that. Okay, it's gonna be different for a few of you. So yeah. If you're getting that problem, pretty simple fix. I know it's annoying, and I know it can be frustrating, but that's just what you're going to have to do. So, yeah, guys, we're going to get right into it. If you enjoy this video, please drop a like or subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys there. Peace. Alright guys, here we are at the desktop. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description, so go ahead and copy and paste that into your search bar and follow along. So, okay, we're going to click on Chrome or whatever your browser is. Alright, go ahead and paste that link up here. Enter, and here we are. Okay, so I'm sure most of you have probably already seen this, probably just figured out how to do it or whatever. So what we're going to want to do is we are going to click on this zip file right here. It'll be the third from the top. So go ahead and click that. All right, and let's click download. And once that downloads, we're going to go ahead and open it up. All right, shouldn't take too long. All right, in our downloads, you should take you right here. But if not, go to your downloads. It'll be right here at the top. It'll be a zip folder. Uh, let's go ahead and extract it. I don't think we have to, but let's just go ahead and do it. Let's extract it. Some people that might. All right. Should take you right here. We're going to double click driver. We're going to click setup. All right. Yes. Okay. And you'll see a list of your devices right here, but it's only going to show one or maybe none, but go up here to devices, click all. And it'll show all your devices, okay? So this is my controller. I have already overclocked it, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and just turn this back to the default. This is what you will see. Let's turn this back. All right. Boom. Bit interval. Uh, your bit interval will probably be five or six or something like that. It won't be one. So look out for that. If you're having trouble finding your controller, uh, make, sure you're, make sure you're doing this wired, guys. Let me make that clear. Make sure you are doing this wired, okay? But if you can't find your controller, go ahead and just unplug it. Okay, and it'll go away. Let me get rid of that. It's not let me, whatever. It'll go away. All right, just watch which one goes away. Plug it back in. All right, and you should be able to find your controller. Okay, so here's mine. There we go. Yeah, my banner rule is six by default. So here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to click on your rate. All right, go down here to default. Okay, and make this a thousand. Okay. So we're going to make our rate a thousand and go to filter, click on filter, click this, make your filter. Yes. Filter on device. Check this box. All right. And then install the service. Okay. It'll, this might pop up. Do you want to open this open? All right. Install. Once you do that, unplug again, plug it back in and there we go. Boom. So you should see this. All right. You should see filter. Yes. Rate a thousand. And your bit interval should be one and you should have a full green bar here a okay, full green bar and that is all there is to it now once you are done you can just exit out of this and you do not have to come back here you don't have to mess with this anymore once it's done it is done okay uh now if there is ever an update for this which is very rare i think there's only been one but when they did update it for me uh it did reverse so i had to come back in here and redo it and how you can check your how you can check your um, input delay, you can download this program, DS4 Windows. If you want to check it out, I will leave a link to this video in the description on how to download it. But you can go here and you can go to your controller readings. And as you can see, my input delay for my controller is zero milliseconds. Okay. 
If you are on a DualShock 4 controller, your input delay might be one millisecond after doing this. It may be one millisecond or it might be 0 0.65, whatever. And it, or it could be fluctuating just a little bit. So my input delay is zero. I play this. I'm doing this on a DualSense controller, but I have done it for my DualShock 4 as well. On my DualShock 4, I had just a couple like microseconds of input delay, which is nothing. I mean, you're not going to notice it. If you can't get the full zero, it's okay. Honestly, the difference from zero to one is not noticeable at all. And also for the people that I know are going to have questions, if you're getting after clicking filter on device, if you click this box and you're getting a pop up error message, um, a big long error message that just looks really confusing. If you are getting that, you are going to have to go into your bio settings and disable your secure boot. Okay. Now you can just Google how to do that. So just go to Google and Google how to disable secure boot. All right. And make sure it's for your type of computer. And it's pretty simple. You just disable secure boot. And that's all you have to do. Come back here and repeat the steps that I've showed you. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or you're still having issues, um, I just know that one issue with the um, with the pop-up error message. Uh, if you disable your secure boot and it's still not working, I recommend that you just go out of here. All right, go back to the website and uh, read this right here. It should show you the problems you are having and how to fix them. So all the information should be on the website. Uh, I'm not really a professional at doing this. I just know how to do it. I don't know how to fix that one error message, but if you're getting any other kind of error message, uh, I recommend just coming to the website and uh, seeing if you can find it on here and see if you can find a fix. But yeah, guys, if you have any other questions about DS4 or about overclocking, let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to help you as best as I can. And that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.